I knew I wanted to do something in healthcare. I, I knew I wanted to do something in the sciences, but I didn't know exactly what yet. So as I'm thinking through my senior year, I'm, I'm looking for jobs. I'm trying to figure it all out. I realized, you know, pharmaceuticals as an industry was the perfect way to bring all of that together. So I became very interested in, um, in the world of pharmaceuticals. I ended up joining uh, GSK, which was my first job out of, out of college. I've been with the GSK ever since, um, currently with, with Vive Healthcare. And I've just really, really loved the pharma pharmaceutical industry. Yeah. Before we go a little farther, so pharmaceuticals, can you define pharmaceuticals for us? More than just what the industry is about, like what, how your interest, like you just said, oh, so biomedical, my interest led me to pharma, like a little more on that string of thought. Yeah. So biomedical engineering, um, again, really, really enjoyed it. Uh, it taught me a lot about logics of logic skills that would apply in a more business setting. Um, and I'll talk a lot about that here in a few minutes, but, but really kind of, it was science-based. It was science-focused. I've always been a science guy. I still am, still will, will always be one, right? Um, but pharma ended up being the perfect industry for me because, again, interested in science, interested in healthcare, and pharma was something I hadn't really researched uh, a whole lot. Um, obviously, we are aware of, of pharmaceutical products, but never really had known much about the, the industry as a whole until kind of the late college years and, and just researching it to enter my career there. And so, no, so some of that, some of that research is like the job postings when you're looking for internships, like how did you get connected to that? Yeah. So it's actually a, a funny story how I got my first job was it was one of those job searcher websites. And at this point it was towards the end of senior year of, of college. And I just literally searched for biomedical engineering jobs near me. Yeah, um, I, I, I to. <laughs> so, you know, it was indeed.com. Okay. I was just searching for it. And, and all of a sudden, um, I saw an, uh, an opportunity for an internship in the triangle with GSK, which is where I started my career. So gotcha. it was one of those Hail Mary job searches came across the posting. And I've been there in my career ever since. Um, so yeah. I always encourage the use of those those platforms. Well, for sure. I, I think, you know, when you're a senior, you might have identified some of this interest, you know, you, you identified the biomedical aspect, you're kind of learning what pharma is, but to actually get like a job with a title and a job description for a company, it, it's so hard to like figure out what that means. So I got my connection through the career fair, NC State's career fair is awesome. I think probably Chapel Hill students even go because it's so engineering focused. But, and a couple of people I've talked to, like Vlad had some idea, BMW, like we know what BMW does, but there's so many industries and companies out there that are kind of under the radar, just not, you know, business to consumer. So you don't buy products from them that it, it's hard to have an idea of what they do. So it's, yeah, it, it, whether it's indeed or a career fair or a parent or a counselor, like there has to be some connection because otherwise you're floundering or, you know, you take a risk. Absolutely. And I think that's, that's a very well made point, too, because I, as a biomedical it's, engineer, you can go into research, you can, you know, kind of continue your education. A lot of my students, uh, fellow students who pursued it and continued to just went on to grad school, got their PhD in it and really, really pursued that lab setting of it, which of course will always be there. But taking a degree like that and applying it in a corporate world, you don't always know how that's going to come across in terms of a role description or, or position title. Um, and so that's where those those applications uh, or those platforms can really have benefit because connecting the lines kind of behind the scenes with their algorithms.